Hello everybody. Today I have a special, special stupid video for you. So today, I'm going to be ranking each and every nation's uh, uniforms. So that means that I'm going to be going through all verified nation's uniforms, and I'm going to be putting them on this tier list, as you can see. So I have like all the- there's so many ads on here. Look how- okay, so you have the flags of each nation, uh... I did not make my own template, so I'm going to match whatever uh, matches the best. Or whatever similar. So, okay, now I'm back in the game. So we're going to go and do a tier list. So I think let's start, let's see which ones are shit and which ones are good. So, here, first recognized nation on the list. The USA. Uh, British... All these nations are dead. Uh, they just got new uniforms in today, so let's see them. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, for the uniform, it looks like you... This uniform actually is Blasty's template, but it was edited by me. So it looks like you've added yellow lining onto the private uniforms. However, your webbing is pretty good. I like this detail right here. Hats... Not so much. I don't know what this hat is. This hat looks very uh, awkward and doesn't really fit the head too well. And you know that shape right there doesn't look too nice. I'm going to give this one a solid C. So I'm going to look for the USA. We're going to move it. Uh, or put it in C tier. I'm, I'm not going to lie, this one's kind of mid. But it's okay. You're not the worst. You're not the worst. The next one we have is uh, Brazil. Brazil seems to have a lot of uniforms, though very recognizable. So here we have Brazil's. They have like a good hat. Uh, the uniforms, this one's pretty basic. No real like shading, same color. Uh, webbing's really good, by the way. Um, we're going to put, we've got more uniforms from them, so let's check those out. Now, variety of uniforms, definitely good. This webbing also looks really nicely detailed. And this uniform looks way better. It's got shading. It's even got a cow skin backpack. Look at all these nice assets on this. That's very good, actually. Uh, for eight does. We've got this uni. Uh, it's using the same basic one. So, I'm honestly going to give this nation's uniforms... I'm going to give it... Um, an A tier, well, yeah, I might move it around, A tier, because of good looking unis, good looking webbings, and a good variety of unis. But I might have to get some points off for that one, so you might be a, a high B tier, high B tier. Uh, I, I gotta check out all the other uniforms real quick. So let's say, um, Germany with their two uniforms here. Lacking on variety, we just have a simple officer and... Over here, we have a pr really basic collar going on here. Uh, we've got some we got some detail on the webbings though, and we have a full backpack with the German mess kit, looking good. Overall, looks really good, and the hat has good design too. Look at that! It's got the emblem. It's got this thing. It's even got its own custom meshes on. That's really good. This is looking like a good uniform. I'm just saying. The uniform's a little basic. It's got squares, you can see. It's okay, though. I'm gonna change out the uniform. Maybe the officer uni looks... It's the same uni, but it's okay. Uh, yeah. It looks about the same. Just a different hat, and I like the feathering on this. So I'm gonna give this one a B tier again. I'm gonna have to find Germany in here. Where's Germany? Uh, that's Estonia. Uh, there better be Germany in this list. Ah! How come I cannot see Germany? There it is. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a B tier again. Just because, um, of the sort of... Obviously these look like temporary uniforms. It's always good. Ordu, what is this one again? No, that's an Ottoman group. That's dead. Italy. 
Now, I gotta give Italy sort of a break, but for now, because they're changing their uniforms, they, they have this, like, temp uni, and it's just a cylinder hat. So, I'm it's too bad. I might do another one for people's updated unis. At least your uniform is textured really well. I can tell that those are pants. You have uh, a good uniform, bad hat. Uh, no real webbing going on here. So, I'm gonna have to give this one a D tier. Uh, sorry, Italy. I know that you're making a new one, so everybody, this is not going to be Italy's uniform for long. But for now, I have to give it a D tier. Okay. Italy's done. Now, I'm personally biased towards my own group. However, I don't think people would disagree that there's quite a bit of variety with my uniforms. However, I'm going to give some fair criticisms upon my own my own work or at least my designer's work so if, wait actually actually I can just move this to the side yeah that's better so with this uniform this is the SAR uniform we have a regular bicorn it's got good texturing and honestly I wish I could see some better like frilling with this it's just some discs and honestly the feathers here are really solid and they don't really look like that they look pretty good they look pretty good but you can see some obvious clipping the sword is really high detailed here and we have some uh, whatever these would be called uh, that's just for my personal uniform let's look at a more regular uniform for my uh, group we're gonna look at the Moscow Guard so Moscow Guard we have a whole uniform it's got some shape to it it's got a defined collar to it However, texturing is not so visible on this. We have the texturing visible here, but it's just the regular, like, noise texturing. And webbings are actually really high detail. You can even see stitch marks on these webbings. You even have the mark of Russia here. And then we have other high details on the back with the shovel. So I would give myself... Okay. I'm not going to toot my own horn, but I'm going to give myself A tier, because a lot of these look really good. I'll even show you. I, I know this is my nation, but we have, like, high detail here. Uh, this is why I'm giving myself A tier. Look at the back of this pickle halba. It is not perfectly on there. Uh, but, And this webbing here is kind of trash, but this is only with this uniform. Uh, and then this one kind of is looking weird. So yeah, I'm not going to give myself full points on this because some of these uniforms are bad. So I'm going to give myself A tier. Uh, just because variety, overall good quality. I know some people are going to be like, no, you're fucking F tier. But no, no, dude, be realistic. I'm not even giving myself S tier. Let's see where Russia is. It's over here. I'm putting it A. I'm putting it A. Alright, let's see the next group. Third Bulgarian Kingdom. We have the two common uniforms of Bulgaria. Obviously. Uh, we have the hat. It seems like it's just using the concrete texture, but I do like its uniform. It's got a lot of nice detail here. Let me see how long I've been recording for. Eight minutes. This is going to be a longer video if any of you actually sit through this one. So, we've got some here. If I can even see it. Uh, that's... Honestly, webbing's kind of lacking, but you do have a knife pouch that's looking really detailed. I do like this detail, though. This ring bit going with that sash. I'm saying, like, a pretty C-tier uh, uh, webbing. Uniforms looking pretty is looking really good like A tier hat. I would give it a B tier So I'm gonna overall give this a B tier So I'm gonna represent them by the flag of Bulgaria And I think that should be up here Bulgaria here it is I'm gonna give it uh, Yes be here here on B tier All right Scandinavia now they have a very wide range of uniforms so that's a good positive statement let's go with their most snazziest uniform here the 
this is honestly a really high detail uniform. Look at all the stitching here. The sword on the back, the webbing is even high detailed. Look at these designs. Amazing designs here. Exactly good shading. And you can, these are unique uh, design, designs here. Even the hat has high detail over here. Um, yeah, overall it's looking really good. You have some clipping, but that can be excused. Because look at that. Look at that design. That looks immaculate. So let's go with the regular. Actually, I have to show off this one. This one's okay. It's not as good as the last one. You can see that the the webbing kind of clips here, so they need to fix that. Swords on the back, nice. This one's a little bit more simple, but it still gets the job done, and it has unique textures. Uh, let's go check out the regular uni. I think this is regular. Wow, honestly, this this um, nation deserves to be in. We're gonna give it by the Denmark in S tier. Yes, S tier. These are the best uniforms I've seen so far. Now let's go check out Ukraine. Galician Infantry. Huh, these ones also have really high detail. However, they don't look like it's from this era. Uh, and I don't see them use this one too often. And honestly, I'm deducting points just for this uni. This uniform is, uh, it's, uh, I don't like it. It's bad. But these uniforms, they look nice while they're also kind of just out of era. They look really out of place for PB. And what is this, Tatar? This is just the Turkish. Uh, let me see the uniform they've been using. This uniform looks fine. I'm, I'm gonna put this in, like, A tier. This is pretty A tier uniform design. I'm not giving it S tier, just because of out of era. So I'm gonna put in Ukraine. Ukraine, yes. Ukraine goes A tier. It just seems out of era. It seems like it's a World War One or Two uniform instead of a Victorian era. Uh, Netherlands. Let's see. Okay. Let's see a ranker. They all look about the same. Big. Okay. Uniforms look fine. There's no real good texturing on it. There's a lot of line work done. It's kind of really bold. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's looking good. Collar's definitely done well. Uh, webbings are interesting. They look good. They look like a, a good set. They have some nice details here. Uh, bags are regular. Uh, only issue is hat being this low. It's over the eyes. It looks like... It looks very interesting. Hat it looks like a pretty simple design here. I'm gonna give this one a lower A tier Netherlands just because of the uniform design however it kind of does have the oops uh, have the issue with looking like it's out of era maybe it, it's not as bad as Ukraine but uh, it, it's it's about so but yeah I'm gonna give it a tier so if I can find the Netherlands anywhere in here. Where is the Netherlands? Uh, it's going by letter, so... And uh, here it is, Netherlands. We're going to put this in... Uh, which one would I say would be better? I'm going to give Ukraine... I'm going to give Ukraine the benefit of the doubt because they have their hats on correctly. Uh, yeah, so next nation would be... Actually, I think this is the last. Nobody has gotten a, a serious F tier. Um, these guys. Okay. So all the uniforms look the same. I think it's literally by rank. Anyway, there's no hats on the HRs. They just have these. One big thing I love about the French unis is this nice hat texturing. It looks like felt. It literally looks like felt. Which is much appreciated on these models. Uniforms look pretty solid. They aren't like... I could see the lines, and they are not too exposed, like not high of contrast here. So the, the uniform gets the job done. Uh, let's see if I can get a more complex webbing other than this one, even though this one looks really nice. It's, 
Okay, so this one has more complex webbing. You can even see the tassels designs in here. It looks extremely good. And we have good pouches. I've seen this pouch on the Dutch one. This one's a pretty common one. I even saw this on Brazil. But I'm going to give points for the felt-looking caps. Uh, I don't know if I would put it on the same level. Actually, I might put it on the same level as Denmark. Just because Denmark did not have the highly textured hats. Uh, this one does have textured uniforms with good lining. So... I'm going to put, if I could find France in here, where is France? France, 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 there's France. Now just for fun, I'm going to go through the old unis, such as the German Empire, who I think is, at, yeah, they're, they surrendered just recently, but everybody knows about these uniforms, the hats being extremely simple and not looking too well yeah so these ones I have the look just look at these hats they're they're not too good I'll, I'll have to give this one low ranks and I and uh, I don't know everything on this just does not look right and I think they even took this webbing again so, I'm going to have to get... Well, I already used Germany. What am I going to use other than Germany? Ah, uh, here, upside down Germany. This is Yemen. But we're going to put in F tier. Okay, so... Nobody... I don't know what E tier is, but we have D tier. Okay, so this is the rankings, people. We have... An S tier. Uh, Scandinavia and France. A tier, it's Russia, Ukraine, and Netherlands. B tier, it's Brazil, Germany, and uh, Yugoslavia. C tier, United States. D tier, Italy. Uh, nobody in E. And F tier, it's uh, the other Germany who just de-verified. So, guys, that's my personal opinion on all of your uniforms. Uh, hope you actually watch this through. Uh, this is like a 17-minute video. I doubt anyone's going to watch this. All right, see you guys.